Hey, good morning. My name is Timothy Valverde, and I am the Celebration and Youth Pastor of Fountain of Truth Church. And we are on um, vlog three today. So what's happening is we're in the lobby making final preparations. The music team's inside getting ready. And we're about an hour and a half before the service starts, and we are ready to go. So follow along, and let's have some fun. Um, it is about 9.15, we've run, done two, two full dress rehearsals and we are scrambling a little bit just because some of the logistics with all the pieces coming together are not turning out the way we did. But through it all, we believe that everything's gonna be fine, everything's gonna be okay. Um, just, I don't know about you, but before we do anything big that's a little out of our uh, element, um, the hour before is just super stressful, just super just intense, a lot of just movement and adjusting. Uh, but we have a really good team, very mature team, very experienced team, and we're handling it. So um, hopefully this, the kabuki drops and everything comes out okay. How many, how many do you think of for the cross? Yeah. Why don't we think on it for the cross? Who's nervous? Okay, so we are having our pre-service meeting. I actually should be in there, but I'm not. Um, and everyone is in there getting ready. We're going over through every final detail like we haven't already. But what I like to do in these pre-service meetings is bring a level of calmness, uh, a lot of nervousness, nothing crazy, but we're excited. So I like to motivate. Uh, we can touch the, de the details, but I like to motivate people and remind people why we do what we do. Because it's really important that people who've given hours and hours and hours of their time are, re are reminded on why we do this. And so today we're reminded that it's all about the cross. And I have a saying that says, if all Christ did was the cross, then that's enough. So it's a big day today, um, and we're about 15 minutes from starting, and we're really excited. So let's have some fun. issue I was having, um, which is what I was telling you, the, our, our, our sound guy for the side monitors, he was unplugged. He wasn't looking at me the whole time. I think we lost him for like five minutes. You know, so your mic was, it was coming in, in and out, and I was trying to get their cue, and then the producer's cue, and they were there, but they were coming in very loud. So if I can't get, if I can't fully hear them, obviously it's hard for me to, to take us dynamically to where we should be. Okay. You know, so I'm just glad that I was able to wing it, unplug myself, and, and we just take it from there. So that's an but easy, that's, easy fix for Spanish. It's an easy fix. We just got to get the guys to really stay focused, you know, and, and, and you know, just see. So they stay, you got to stay engaged with us. Overall, it, it you know, what we practice, you know, it, it pretty much was fluent. Um, the band, I'm proud of those guys, man. They did, they, they quit with work and, and they got it done, yeah. you know. But like I said, if we could just do those little adjustments, Hey, okay, so we just finished our Easter service and it was a huge success. Um, if I'm being honest, it was almost flawless. Some small little technical difficulties, but for the most part, flawless. So I wanted to introduce two people that you probably know or don't know. This is Manny, and I, I'm not joking when I say he was responsible for about 99% of everything that you saw today. Audio, visual, kabuki, lift, trust, and he just worked tirelessly. I bless him and his wife, but more I bless his little son, Jeremiah, who I feel is gonna reap the benefits of all his dad's work. So uh, I just wanted to highlight him and thank him for everything he does. Yeah. And I, I wanna highlight Brother Carlos. He's just what I call a quiet assassin. He's just there when you need him, smiles, ready to work, ready to serve. Um, if you can build a church and a team around guys like this, you'll be okay. So thank you, my brother. Thank you, love you, my brother, okay? So that's Easter in a nutshell. Um, whew. It was amazing. All the hard work that was done privately poured over publicly. It was fantastic. I wish, I wish that I can show you everyone's picture and everyone's face um, because it could not happen without such an amazing team with so many last minute changes. 
even up until the last second in the, in the pre-service meeting, I changed the way I was going to introduce things. But yet the team took everything in stride and we're just better and better. This was probably one of our best Easter's maybe ever or in a very, very long time. So um, praise God and I hope you've enjoyed it and following along with us, okay?